Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my July favorites and it's just going to be an old school full on favorites video. We don't have any fails of the month but we do have a lot of favorites to talk about so let's just go ahead and hop into the favorites. So starting off, I do have a new SPF that I have been using and this one comes from Mecca Cosmetica. It's their Too Safe Face SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. And Mecca is a huge makeup store here in Australia and New Zealand. It's sort of equivalent to like a Sephora and Ulta. We do have a Sephora here, but I guess it's like equivalent to, I guess, an Ulta, but not like drugstore. But I did get like a deluxe sample size of this sunscreen. I tried it and I loved it. So I went ahead and purchased the full size. I even got one for my nephew because I'm trying to like drill it into his head that he needs to start wearing SPF at a young age and he'll thank me later. It just feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't have a cast or anything. It's just like a simple hydrating almost glowy SPF um, and I think it sits really well underneath my makeup as well and it's also really really affordable. There's recent news that Supergoop is now in the gray area of their cruelty free status because I believe they opened up a store in China that's just really really sad because I think for a lot of people it was their go-to brand for SPF but I guess it was just like meant to be that I found this new SPF that I really love um, and it's much more easier for me to get this here in New Zealand than getting super good because we don't actually sell that physically here in New Zealand. So if you guys watch my last monthly favorites, my June favorites, I mentioned three blushes in that video and I was like I could have mentioned more but I'm holding back. So I held back for this video and I have another three blushes to share with you. Like I said, I'm just on a really blush kick and there's been a lot of good blushes out recently. So I have three here that I want to talk about, but let's talk about what's on my cheeks currently. I have the Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm, and I have mine in the shade Magic Hour. My good friend Joy, who lives in the US that I met through YouTube, sent me like a bundle of goodies, and this was one of the items that she sent me. She sent me like snacks and um, makeup items as well, and I'm so happy that she sent me this because I've always wanted to try Tower 28 and this blush is no joke. Ever since I've worn this, I cannot stop wearing it. I feel like this could be possibly my favorite cream blush. The next two blushes I'm going to mention are also cream blushes, but something about this blush specifically is just so different and I feel like every time I apply it, it almost like snooze out my skin. I also love the color as well. Joy just I feel like she just knows me. She picked out a very nice color for me. It is very, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot, but it's very easy to blend out, and I feel like it's just so natural, and it just makes your cheeks look extremely, extremely good. I'm sure you guys know that Tower 28 products are amazing. I've heard nothing but great things about the brand. It's also Asian-owned, so I love that. Got to support. And I definitely want to get more of these and try out more of their products because this has been like my favorite blush recently so I have been loving this but also in that same package that my friend Joy sent me she got me the Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush in the shade Dodgy and this blush is so so beautiful I love like this kind of like innovative makeup items I think it's so stunning but sometimes with these kind of products they can be like a little bit gimmicky and they don't work but I love this blush. I think the name Dodgy is such an odd name for such a beautiful blush. Like, why would you name a pretty rose blush Dodgy? But the blush itself is really, really beautiful. The formulation itself is really beautiful and it just blends so well. Like, I didn't have any issues with this. It wasn't patchy or anything. And the rose shape, like, it stays there. So you're not, like, getting rid of that shape at all. And I have been using this one a lot as well. I actually wanted to mention this one last month, but I was like, okay, let me just give you guys a little blush break. Let me slow down on my recommendations, but this one I have been loving. But the third and final blush I want to mention comes from AOA Studio. This is their Hush Cream Sheer Blush, and I have mine in the shade Cozy. I actually did a sponsored post on my TikTok for Shop Miss A, and I got to pick out a couple of things and just do like a little unboxing on my TikTok. This is not sponsored at all, but I got their cream blush, and this blush is only a dollar. And it's so amazing, guys. Like, I'm just shocked and amazed by 
like the AOA Studio formulation, how it could be $1. I did a video with them, it wasn't sponsored, but they sent me some products and I did a video, um, I think it was like 2018 probably or 2019 and I was really impressed by a lot of their products I really liked their eyebrow pencil and also their pressed powder and then this time around I got this blush I also have a liquid lipstick that I really like as well that's also a dollar I don't know how they can make it so affordable and the formula be so great if you're on shop miss a and you're looking for some good makeup items I would recommend the blush their liquid lipstick and their eyebrow pencil and their powder their powders are really good too but overall AOA studio for a dollar like wow I'm really really surprised by the quality and the formulation that they have to offer and now on to my last makeup favor I have these two glowing lip balms from Colourpop this is from their latest Hello Kitty collection and this is actually a new formulation they introduced in this collab but I have been loving these guys so much I'm only showing two shades because these are the two shades that I use often but I should probably just show you all three because you can only purchase it in a set but I would still totally recommend that because the shades are really really pretty and the formulation is just so comfortable it's so easy to wear it's very pigmented it's hydrating it's like the just a tint lip crayon but like a little bit more thicker and waxy that feels more like a lip balm in a way like I still love both but this one is definitely a little bit thicker and I do love a thick hydrating lip balm highly highly recommend trying these glowing lip balms out and I hope they come out with more in the future maybe not in this bright packaging and come out with more shades I think this would be such a great addition to their line and I absolutely love love these now let's talk about hair care I have two items that I've been loving for my hair in the past not even month I would say the last two months I recently uploaded a function of beauty review that I'll leave in the cards here and I talked about sort of my concerns with my hair and my hair journey it's just been really really frizzy and I made the decision to dye my hair back to black and just let my virgin hair grow out like I'll let it grow cut it let it grow until I have my natural hair color back and just get it back to healthy silky looking hair because right now like it's really frizzy I mean like it definitely could be worse um, but it's definitely not I don't know maybe it's just like the little things that I notice when I'm editing my videos that my hair looks really frizzy it just looks not clean and I do suffer with hair loss as well not extreme but I would say a little it's getting a little concerning in a way and my hair's already super fine I don't have a lot of hair anyway so I've been just you know on TikTok which I know some people say don't trust TikTok recommendations but um, I do. <laughs> Honestly, these two I did get from TikTok recommendations. This one specifically was from a TikTok recommendation. So this is from The Body Shop. It's their Fuji Green Tea Refreshingly Purifying Scrub Shampoo. It's for normal to oily hair and scalp. And pretty much I saw this on TikTok. It was a girl, um, like she's been like collecting her hair that she loses and sticking it on a sellotape and then she used this and then she noticed that she was losing a lot less hair and I haven't purchased anything from the body shop in years I used to be obsessed with the brand like when I was in high school but after that I really just stopped shopping there if you have a dry scalp dry hair don't use this um, but if you have oily hair like me and you use a lot of dry shampoo this is so refreshing to use like just once a week so it is like a scrub for your hair so this is what it kind of looks like in the tub it's very thick it has these sort of like sugar I don't know if it's sugar but like maybe salt particles but there's like this texture to it so what I do in the shower I'll just take a scoop on my hand and I'll rub it into my hand add some water and then scrub that into my scalp and I'll actually use a scalp massager as well to really just cleanse my hair and the smell on this is so intense but I mean that in a really good way I feel like the first time you use it it can be a little overpowering I will say like my eyes did water a little bit but on a Sunday evening it's the end of the week tomorrow's a new week and it's time to wash your hair you want to feel refreshed this will leave you feeling so ready for the new week it just clears up my nose and I just feel like awake and I'm like it's so refreshing to use but I will say this does make my hair feeling a little dry like you know when it's like a little too clean clean 
that it feels really dry I feel like that so that's why I only use it once a week just to really get rid of the buildup and just to feel clean with my hair because I do use a lot of dry shampoo I typically only wash my hair like twice a week like every third day so it does fall about twice a week so that's why I don't recommend it for dry hair because yeah yeah it's just it's not gonna be good and the result of this I I guess low-key feel like I have lost less hair but I'm not counting like that girl on TikTok so I wouldn't really know but yeah I mean I've been loving it I just love how fresh it makes my hair feel so this is another favorite of mine but the next hair care item I actually heard a lot of great things about I saw on TikTok I saw other creators recommend it as well this one is from Brio Gio it's their don't despair repair deep conditioning mask I don't use this every time I wash my hair I typically use it on like my special Sundays where I use the shampoo and then the deep conditioning mask it's just because it's pretty expensive this was like I think 60 New Zealand dollars it makes my hair feel so silky smooth like it's different from just a regular conditioner you know when you go to the hair salon and they wash your hair it's like it feels different your hair feels a lot smoother and healthier this gives you that hair salon softness you know it gives you that hair salon experience and um i definitely want to change my shampoo to brio geo next because again heard a lot of great things about the brand and i want to try out more than the mask but so far i've been loving loving this and i can see why it's really hyped up. I mean it even won the Allure Beauty Expert in 2020. And now onto my lifestyle favorites. Again, I don't have a journal update. July has just been a really tough month for me and maybe by the time this video goes live I would probably already not announced it but like shared it on socials on what has happened. Um, and I don't want to talk about it in this video but it's been hard. Uh, so no journal update this month, but I have some other favorites that I want to talk about and actually it's so sweet um, I got sent this in my PO box from one of you guys a fellow Keely Chinese She sent this to me, which is like you guys if you're gonna send me something to my PO box Don't feel like you need to send me gifts You can just send me a letter that makes me so happy enough to the lovely subscriber who sent me this It's so thoughtful, um, but this is the Boya. I'm not sure the exact name I'll have to leave the link down below but it pretty much is just like a little you know the microphone that you see on like TV presenters or any one that looks professional but I use this mainly for my TikToks I don't use it for my YouTube videos because I did actually upgrade my microphone which um, I'm so glad that you guys hear a difference when I mentioned it in a previous video I'm using the Rode mic now and I do hear it now when I look back at my old videos it was a lot of bigger echo this one is definitely more crispy and clear so I'm happy that that $200 paid off but she sent me this one and I mainly use it for my TikToks and this also makes such a big difference and it just kind of gives me more of a professional vibe I really I don't know I really like how that looks and it's just a really great way to have more clear audio um, and it's not too expensive either. I think it's about $50 because I actually did buy another microphone um, from this brand Boya for my new vlogging camera which I'm actually filming on it right now. So I have two mics I have two new mics, including this one is three mics. This is the one that I want to mention because I think, you know, TikTok is so popular now and so many people are on it. So if you've been wanting to like just upgrade your audio quality for a fairly affordable price, I would recommend getting this and yeah, you just look very professional and I've been loving this. I've been using this every single time that I create my TikToks. I'll quickly put a comparison here for you guys of what it sounds like with it on and what it sounds like with it off. Blackpink's makeup artist recently shared on her YouTube channel that she used this seal of blush on Rosé in her Gone in Music video. So Blackpink's makeup artist recently shared on her YouTube channel that she uses this seal of liquid lipstick on Blackpink Jenny. And then on to my last favorite, I just have these really cute house slippers. I mean, you can definitely wear these out as well, but it just has this cute little bear on it. I just think it's so cute. And I wanted to mention these because I know these like... I don't know what you would call these, like these foamy type slippers are very in right now, but my one just has a bear. I got this from a seller. It's, this is only going to apply to New Zealand people, so I'm so sorry. I know it's so cute. I don't want to tempt you guys, but it is from a New Zealand seller. Her Instagram handle is by Serene. I'll leave it down below, but she just resells a lot of cute like Korean fashion products and she had these on and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So I got them. I wear these mainly around the house and they're just so comfortable 
comfortable to wear and they're just so cute as well. I posted this on my Instagram and I got so many DMs about these so I just wanted to share them on here as well. So that you guys was my July favorites. I would love to know what you guys have been loving, anything that you think I would like as well, let me know down below in the comments. And also if you guys did enjoy the video, if you could give it a thumbs up for me, I would appreciate it so much. And with that being said, that is going to conclude everything today. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!